1936, Literary Digest magazine attempted to predict the winner of the contest for president of the United States between Alf Landon, the Republican, and Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the Democrat. They attempted to poll 10 million people by sending out ballots to magazine subscribers, automobile owners, and telephone users. Over 2 million ballots, let's underline that, where 2 million ballots were returned, which is a large number of respondents. The polls predicted that Alf Landon would capture 57% of the vote, which would have made him the winner by a landslide. This poll result carried a lot of weight since Literary Digest magazine had used similar methods to accurately predict the winner in the 1916, 1920, 1924, 1928, and 1932 elections. So it was a surprise when Alf Landon only received 37% of the 44,431,180 votes cast in the 1936 election. In this example, what was the target population and what was the sample? All right, so this problem is just dealing with the difference between a population and a sample. And so we're just asked based on this example here, um, what was the target population? Well, in the first line, it says they attempted to predict the winner of the contest for president of the United States. So I would say what their population was, was the voting preferences for the entire U.S. population. So at that time in 1936, they wanted to know basically how the public uh, was going to vote. And so they wanted to know the voting preferences for the entire voting age population. And that would give them enough to predict the winner of the election. In order to do that, they sampled, um, they actually sent out polls to 10 million people, but they only received back 2 million ballots. So basically their sample is the 2 million ballots that were um, sent back. And then, of course, we know famously that this poll was incorrect, obviously, since Alf Landon was supposed to, according to the poll, capture 57%, and he only received 37%. So instead of winning by a landslide, he lost by a landslide. And the reason for that is that essentially um, they polled only people who were magazine subscribers, automobile owners, and telephone users. This is at a time during the Great Depression when very few people had automobiles. Um, not so many people had telephones and you know magazines were still pretty much a luxury for a lot of people in the United States so at that time basically they were committing a major selection bias meaning that they were basically only polling people who were well off or at least well off compared to the typical person at that time going to the polls to vote. 